here. This is your everyday video. We'll talk about the Data Migration Assistant and using it to migrate an on-premises SQL Server database to an Azure SQL database. The Data Migration Assistant provides seamless assessments of SQL Server on-premises and upgrades to later versions of SQL Server or migrations to SQL Server on Azure VMs or Azure SQL database. The Data Migration Assistant enables you to upgrade to a modern data platform by detecting compatibility issues that can impact database functionality on your Azure SQL database and SQL Server on Azure VMs. The Data Migration Assistant tool is a free tool and available for download. This brief demo provides a step-by-step -step instruction for migrating SQL Server on-premise to Azure SQL database by using Data Migration Assistant. The steps will follow to create a new migration project. We'll specify the source server and database, specify the target server and database, select the schema and objects and deploy the schema, and start the data migration. As you can see here, we have SQL Server Management Studio. My on-premise server is the PwC Laptop SQL 2016 instance, and my Azure target will be this one right here. At the conclusion of this demo, we will see that we've actually deployed and migrated the PW Insurance database to Azure. The first step is to create a new migration project. So we have started by on the left hand pane we select the new and then we specify this, the migration project type. Then we want to set the source type to SQL Server and the target type to Azure SQL Database. Once we have this option and we, we are going to do the migration scope of schema and data, we click create. So now we want to specify the source server and database. For the source, under connect to source server, in the server name text box, I've entered the name of the SQL server instance that I'm targeting as my source. The authentication type supported by this instance of SQL server is Windows authentication. No, it is recommended that you encrypt the connection by selecting the encrypt connection checkbox under the connection properties. Now we want to press connect. And now we want to select a single source database to migrate to Azure SQL database. In this case, we want to migrate our PW insurance database. Note, if you'd like to assess the database and view the imply recommended fixes before migration, you can select the assess database before migration checkbox. We will select next. So now we're specifying the target server and database. For the target, under connect to the target server in the server name text box, we're going to enter the name of the Azure SQL database instance. We will select the authentication type supported by the target Azure SQL database instance, in this case, SQL authentication server authentication. We've entered our user credentials and again we've selected the encrypt connection. Once we click connect, we have the databases that are now available to us out on our Azure SQL database, the logical server, and we have PW Insurance. I'm selecting that one because that is the target that I want to ultimately deploy and migrate my data to. Note, if you intend to migrate Windows users in the target external user domain name, you would include that here, and you want to make sure that that uh, domain name is specified correctly here. So for example, Microsoft.com or Contasa.com or whatever your domain may be. So once we get this information settled, we want to click Next. So now we're going to select Schema Objects and we select the Schema Objects from the source database that you want to migrate to Azure SQL Database. So we wanted to make a note here that some of the objects that cannot be converted as is are presented with automatic fix opportunities. So if we had issues, for example, as I click through these, I would see these issues up, uh, pop up here, and I would have an opportunity to potentially fix them if there were any issues. But so far, no issues that we've uh, encountered. We also know this because we ran the migration assessment on this database before uh, performing the migration itself. So now that we've got 
this, the next step we want to do is we want to generate the SQL script. We want to do a re quick review of the SQL script that's been generated. Next, we will click the Deploy Schema. We can review the results over here on the right-hand side. Looks like we had 89 commands executed, zero errors. Now we will select Migrate Data to initiate the data migration process. Once we have all the tables selected that we want to migrate, we can actually select the, the tables that we want to migrate, and then we will actually start the data migration. The final screen shows the overall status of all the migration steps that have occurred and the tables that were successful in migration. And as we can see in Azure, we have our PW Insurance database here, and I'm actually running a uh, query editor that is in preview uh, currently in SQL Server Azure SQL database, and I've returned data from my people detail table. Thank you for watching this Azure Everyday video. Have a great day.